Hello, in this video, we're going to look at how to use your knowledge of number bonds to add up as far as 20. Now, funnily enough, this is actually a much more important skill than being able to add larger numbers, because if you can do this competently, you won't have any problem when it comes to adding larger numbers. And I often meet people I teach who have been studying maths for a long, long time, but they never really got to grips with this, and that really slows them down. So let's have a look at how these grids, these sets of 10, are going to help you. So um, in all of these additions, we're going to be coming up with a number that's larger than 10. For looking at how to add smaller numbers, which uh, the answer is less than 10, have a look at one of my other videos, which I have done on this. So let's get cracking. Let's start off with adding, for example, let's go seven, and we're going to add five, okay? So let's see what that looks like. All right, I've done it both in blue, but it won't matter too much. So I'm gonna put seven in here. Now we start thinking that to do seven, it's two, four, six, and then one more is seven. And then five, I'm gonna fill up half the box. So I've got two, four, and five, like this, there we go. So of course I could just count them all up now. And that was how one starts learning. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. But if you keep counting and always having to use your fingers, it takes uh, quite a lot of time. So I'm gonna show you a quicker way using our number bonds. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm gonna to think to myself, I know that with that seven, if I put three more in, I get to 10. So let's do that. Let's move three from here and add them to that 10. Here we go. One, two, three. Now I've got 10 and I can see very clearly I've got two here. So I've got my answer of 12. And I'm going to show you how I would write that down because once we get really good at this, we won't need to use these sets. So what I've done is I've got my seven add five. Let's write it down here, seven add five. But what I've done is I've thought to myself, how many do I need from that seven to get to the next 10? And I know it's three, one, two, three. So I take three from that five, over they go. And then there are two left over. Seven and three is 10. Add the two is 12. Let me show you some more examples of this because it's a really, really powerful tool. Let's try five plus, if I'm gonna be good this time, I'm gonna get my red pen out, five plus eight. Okay, so let's get five blue ones in. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And I want eight red ones. Quite good to count in twos. Two, four, six, eight. Now, it doesn't really matter which of the boxes I fill in, but I'm going to go from left to right. So I've got that five. Let's write the out here again. So I've got five plus eight. Now I know that if I add another five to this five, I'll get 10. And that's always really helpful. So let's move them over. Two, four, five. So now I've got 10. I can see I've got three left here. So nice and easy, my answer is 13. And look what I've done. I've looked at that five. I've taken five off that eight. I've moved them over to join that five to make 10. There's three left. 10 add three equals 13. Right, let's do a couple more. I'm getting into the string of it now. Let's go for nine, add 
three. And the more you do this and the more you practice it, the quicker you'll get. And then you'll have this really powerful tool between your ears, your brain, which will be able to just do these things super, super quickly. And that's just great because it just makes maths easier. You're not going to spend ages there counting or trying to stick your fingers under the table to get it done. So there's my nine. And here are my three. One, two, three. So look what I'm going to do. I know that if I add one more to that nine, I get ten. So I'll take it off there. Got two left here, 10 add two, nice and straightforward, gives me 12. So nine add three, take one from here to make 10, two left over, answer 12. Let's do one more for good luck. Let's do eight add, let's add six this time, see what we come up here. If you keep practicing this regularly, you'll soon just be able to add these digits in your mind uh, almost instantaneously, which means straight away. And that will really help you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get them in pairs. Two, four, six, eight. There we go. And I want six on this side, two, four, six. Okay, there we go. So I'll write this out now. So I've got eight plus six. Well, I want to make that eight up to 10. So I'll take two away from that six to make 10. There are four left. And that is going to give me an answer of 14. And let's leave it looking really neat and tidy by just adding those answers in there. As always, replay the videos, have another look through, pause them, ask for help from friends, family, anybody you know, your teachers. If you're confused with any of this, don't give up. The more you study maths, the easier it gets. Anyone can be a mathematician.